All right, hello everyone and welcome to the Form Builder V6 webinar. Thank you so much for, for joining. My name is Melissa and I'll be today's facilitator. Uh, Cynthia has joined us today as a panelist so she can answer any questions or concerns that come up. Um, at the end, we will also be addressing some questions so feel free to type them in, and if we don't address it throughout the session, we will be more than glad to address it at the end. All right, so our main goal for this webinar is to show you the basics of Luminello's Form Builder, so you can start creating or editing forms in Luminello. Here we have an overview of what we will be reviewing throughout this webinar. We'll get started with what custom forms you can build and how to create a custom form or template using our form builder. Then we'll show you how you can view and edit all your forms. Let's get started with forms you can build with the form builder. Luminello's form builder allows you to build custom note templates, questionnaires, and administrative documents. Templates are for composing notes, Whereas you can send admin forms, rating scales, and questionnaires to the patient's portal. So to get started, you can click on your practice tab from your Luminello navigation menu, and then under documents, click on my form builder. When creating a form under the form builder, you will be prompted to select a form a form type before you begin. Different form and template types are displayed in the dropdown for you to choose one. You can build your own custom practice admin forms, uh, questionnaire intakes. This form is used for composing intake notes with custom fields that our basic intake may not have or to match your practice preferences. Questionnaire follow-up is used to ask questions to patients in preparation for a follow-up. Once submitted, you can review the results in the chart and even pre-fill a new SOAP or follow-up note with the answers. Then we have note template intakes. This template is used for composing intake notes with custom fields based on your practice intake note preferences. Same for the note template follow-up. This is used for composing SOAP or follow-up notes with custom fields based on your practice SOAP note preferences. Lastly, note template free text. This is used for composing free text notes with custom fields. Now let's review how easy and functional it is for you to create and edit custom forms or templates in Luminello. Once you have chosen a form type, you can go ahead and write a title for your form. For this example, I've chosen a questionnaire intake form type. And in the form title, I added adult patients intake questionnaire. Once you have selected a form type and added your title, you can start creating your custom form by scrolling down. So once you scroll down, you will see that the question types for the custom form will be located on the left-hand side. To start creating your form, you can drag and drop a question to the right-hand side. For this example, I chose a free text question. Now you can customize your question and answer choices by clicking on the edit button. This is always located at the top right-hand side of each question. Once you click on edit, um, here you can change the question and select the section that this question would appear in if you decide to add this to a note. In this section right here, you can replace the title of your question for a different text. If you decide to add this to a note, the question will be replaced with what you add here. When editing the checkbox question types, you will be able to add different answer choices. 
the add new button will add a new answer choice to your question. The remove button will remove your answer choices. And with the up and down arrows, you can rearrange the, the way you want the answer choices to appear. The trash can deletes an answer choice. Once you're done editing your, um, adding your answer choices, you can click on apply to continue creating your custom form. This is a rating scale question type. Here, um, this, this question type will add a scale from one to five, and you will indicate a description for the minimum and the maximum rate. This is pretty much how a rating scale question would look like. The question is, can you rate how anxious you are feeling lately? The minimum is one, barely feel anxious lately. And the maximum rate would be number five. Everything makes me anxious lately. All right, so this is an example of a matrix of single choice question type. This means that only one answer choice will be allowed for each row. In the column section, you can edit the answer choices. And in the rows section, you can add the question or statements. And that's it. Once you have added your columns and rows, this is how a matrix of multiple choice question would look like. All right. This is a matrix of um, multiple choice question type. It means that it allows more than one choice per question. The difference between matrix of multiple choice and single choice is that in the single in the matrix of single choice question type, it only allows um, one choice, whereas in the matrix of multiple choice question type, it allows more than one choice per question. In the column section, you can control how many columns you would like to add. And in the rows section, you can add a title for the questions that will be shown in the matrix. In the answer choices, you will add the answers that will display next to each row added. And that's it. This is how a matrix of multiple choice looks like once it's added. If you click on more, you can copy or delete a question. Questions can also be rearranged by simply dragging the question you would like to move anywhere within the form. You can add a new page to your custom form by clicking on the plus sign next to the page number. And when you're done, click on the orange save form button and your custom form will be saved. All right, now let's take a look at how you can view or edit all your forms in Luminello. You can create your own custom forms for, from scratch, or you can edit Luminello samples to better fit your practice preferences. Another option is that you can hire us to build or edit your forms. Our team of experts can build or edit your forms for you to help you save time. To build new forms, you can send us your current templates without including any real patient information. And to edit your forms, you can send us the, the forms and the, revi the revisions you would like us to, to make or contact us to set up a time for a screen share so you can let us know the changes you would like to make to your forms or any of Luminello's samples. So to view all your forms, you can go to My Luminello Forms. This is located under the Documents tab in your Practice section. For premium users, Luminello provides pre-built questionnaires, administrative documents, and no templates. What makes admin documents unique is that they automatically include a signature field for the patient to type in their name to e-consent. You can preview a form by clicking on the eyeball icon. This is located to the right-hand side of each form. This allows you to see the form in use in real time. 
If you click on the edit icon, you will be taken back to the form builder so you can edit this form. Here you can clone a document. This creates a duplicate of the form you wish to make changes to while leaving the original form alone. If you wish to delete a form from the list of forms, you can by clicking on the trash can icon, keeping in mind that once a form is deleted, this cannot be undone. If you would simply like to remove the form from your forms list, you can change the status of each form by, you can change their, their status to inactive. All you have to do is click on the active dropdown. And from there, you have the option, the option to switch a form to an active. So you will not see it in your forms list. All right. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the policy documents. From the patient's experience, to sign an admin document, they will need to click on their documents tab and then click on the document they would like to review and sign. After reviewing the policy, the patient will be able to add their signature at the bottom and click on complete to send that form back to you. When an admin document has been signed, Luminello will send you a notification. From here, you can go to the chart entries to view this document by clicking on the hyperlink included in the message. You can add the admin document to the patient's chart by selecting the add to chart option from the drop down menu. And that's it. Your admin document will be added to the patient's chart entries. So let's say that you want to export this chart, for example. Um, the admin form that you just added to this patient's chart would show up in the export file. Templates. You can preview templates when composing a note. Under the Select New dropdown, you will see Luminello samples and also any templates that you may have built yourself using Luminello's form builder. Once you have selected a template, it will display the answer choices and you can fill it out as you go. When ready to sign the note template, click on Sign. And this is what it looks like in the patient's chart entries when your note template is signed. Questionnaires. All right. So let's say, for example, that the patient um, is with you at their office and you want them to fill out a questionnaire while they're there. You can preview a questionnaire from the patient's chart entries by clicking on the orange I want to, then click on administer. You would choose either rating scale or questionnaire. Once you choose questionnaire in this screen, you can click on the drop down next to select a questionnaire to choose the questionnaire you would like to preview. Once you have selected the questionnaire from the list, it will preview for you and the patient can complete it right there. If you wish to send a questionnaire to a patient in your roster, you can do so by clicking on the shortcuts menu. From here, under my chart, you would type in the patient's name and under the go to drop down, select send form. Another way you can send a form to a patient is once inside the patient's chart entries, click on the orange I want to button and select Send form. A list of documents will appear for you to choose from. Here you would select the questionnaire that you would like to send out and then click on send to portal. You will see a confirmation message indicating that the form has been sent successfully. Here you will also find an entry on the chart that shows that a questionnaire was just sent to the patient. 
The advantage of questionnaires is that a draft intake note can be created from them. So uh, from the patient experience, to fill out a questionnaire, they would need to go to their documents tab, then click on the questionnaire they would like to fill out. Then the questionnaire will display for them to fill out. Whenever they're done, just click on complete to send the questionnaire back to you. Same thing as an admin form. Once the patient completes the questionnaire, you will be notified by Luminello. To view the questionnaire, you can click on the hyperlink provided in the message. And to add the questionnaire results into the chart, you can click on Add to Chart from the drop down menu. If you wish to create an intake note from that questionnaire, all you have to do is click on Create Intake Note. The filled out questionnaire will then paste into an intake note. And that's it. This is what this is pretty much uh, what it looks like when you have added a questionnaire to an intake note. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, we have arrived at the question section where Cynthia and I will be reviewing the Q&A chat section to see if anyone has any questions. If you don't have any questions right now, feel free to send us an email if you do. Our email is support at luminello.com. Again, that is support at luminello.com. We will be sending you this recording to your email where you can uh, review it as many times as you want. And if any new questions come up, you can always send us an email. We will be happy to address any concerns. All right, I don't see any questions as of right now. I look forward to hearing from you uh, via email. Again, our email is support at luminello.com. Feel free to shoot us any questions that you may have. Thank you so much for joining. It was my pleasure conducting this webinar. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Um, have a great rest of your day.